Hello YouTube friends and subscribers, family. Thought I'd shoot a quick video. Sit down here in the shade for a minute before I take the rhubarb in that I just harvested. Hey blue dog, come here. You're hot, huh? Go get you some water. Well, I temporarily mounted 400 more watts of solar just on a real simple frame, two by four frame. Lex bracing across the back. These are too low, I, they can't be here in the winter solstice, they're shaded part of the morning, but if I pivoted on that post, I can turn the thing off to the west, further west from the way those panels are. My plan is, since in the winter time, the sun comes up right there in that notch in the center of the screen. And then it sets uh, in the center of the screen there. And it just crests those trees enough that the upper panels are not in the shade at all during the solstice. So since it's foggy and quite often the sun doesn't burn off until late afternoon, if I take this other set of panels and I swing it off to the west, I'll pick up a little bit more sun. I'm going to have to mount them up high or move them west. Um, my plan, where that ladder's leaning up, my plan is to put a, a mount up there that I'm able to turn. where it'll be dual uh, lineal change. And I'm thinking about putting a six by six post in the ground and putting it right on top of that post and putting a solar tracker on it. And if it works, repeat the process several times. But I'm having uh, some hard, uh, a hard time getting it done. I've got uh, some news for you. I've been on a CPAP machine for months, and the CPAP does run on our off-grid system. It's the only power that it uses. And we do have a modified sine wave, and it works fine. The humidifier on it works fine. We figured out that some of the stuff, the systemic issues that I was having with my health one of the things is I don't breathe at night. And I go 70 seconds in between breaths. And that's where the drain damage, I mean the brain damage, damage comes from. Exactly. So that helps having the machine is helping me breathe a lot better. And the headaches are going away and the, the fibro fog in the morning is is getting better so that's a good thing so yeah CPAP off-grid does work on modified sine wave uh, I wasn't ever hitting Delta sleep and the studies that I've read if you don't get to Delta low wave it's way past REM state if you don't get to Delta then you won't live six years the body the muscles don't rest the muscle cells can't rebuild that's one of the things with fibromyalgia is your brain never lets go of the muscle so you wake up in the morning exhausted like you never rested at all because the brain never lets go of the muscles. And I've been dealing with that for years. But we're getting some things figured out. I'm supposed to go to OHSU, Oregon it's University Hospital and see a, a panel of neurologists sometime before fall. So that, that's good news. That will help. So I'm just not able to do the things that I want to do. I'm really, really thankful to the Lord that he's blessed us over the years. And though I don't have an income, we're living on what my wife makes cutting hair in town. I don't have a mortgage either or any car payments or anything. So uh, we're doing okay, and that's good. And we're still able to plug along with this. And that's a happy thing. You know, sometimes given a little personal aspect, 
you know, it doesn't hurt because I'm a real person living off grid with a real family, with real issues, just like everybody else. And so, oh, we're, we're no longer in bulk, so I can't show you the amperage difference because the batteries are almost full now. We're at 96%. And so this morning, when I first plugged it in, I went from about uh, 30 amps to about 40 amps. I had 26.7 to 36.8, but it wasn't noon yet, and it still had some overcast and smoke. So I, run, I crunched the numbers, and it works out to about 40 amps in full sun. And that'll go way up when the sun comes down uh, closer to the solstice where the panels are actually pointing right at it. So for a month and the cooler weather, I'll really be able to put a lot more power in at that time. But we did, we did good, uh, adding 400 more watts. So we're up to 1,400 watts uh, total now. And that's, we're trying to get to what's ca called a C10 charge rate. So you could look that up. You want to be able to put enough amperage in your batteries, not only to bring them to full charge, but to uh, to bubble them pretty good. You want to be able to stir the electrolyte. And that's done two ways. One way is by actually raising the voltage. Uh, that'll, that'll do it. And the best thing is to have enough amperage. So... What what I have in there? I have eight L16s and 24 volt, and really 70 amps would be ideal. Well, I can do that when I run the diesel generator because it's got an inverter charger, and when I need to, I can do it that way, or I can just when the batteries are fully charged, I can kick it over into equalize mode, and the equalization process will make sure that every cell comes up to the same specific gravity. And I do that once a month. They're about, probably about every 45 days. So even with a CPAP machine, that makes my inverter have to be awake all night long. Even with that, running the CPAP machine on refrigeration and the freezer. When I get up in the morning, we've used about 11% of the battery bank. And so... We were trying to get to a three-day autonomous with no no sun, you know, rainy weather, but we're not close. I'd almost have to double the bank to do that. But we've got plenty of diesel and uh, other ways to save power when we need to this winter. You know, we move the freezer outside on the back deck and different tricks like that to... I'm sorry about my cognitive function issues. I get. Is this actually the third time I tried to make a video today? I'm not even sure yet that I'm going to post this one. Anyway, I'm going to take my rhubarb in before it wilts too much and uh, showing you a temporary setup for 400 more watts. These are Renogy panels. They're monocrystalline, and I just have no complaints at all with their construction. They seem to be top notch. It's an American company. I think their 100 watt panels are made in um, Taiwan, which is good. And the 225 watt panels are made in Chino, California, if I remember right. Anyway, it's a good company. So for me, Renogy Solar, and uh, I use Cree light bulbs because they're also American made. So have a very, very blessed day.